Howdy folks. All right, today I'm actually replacing the rear door speakers, I'll eventually do the front door too, uh, of my 2021 Ford Ranger Lariat. Uh, I got in the truck, I don't know, last week and I noticed all of a sudden the speakers sounded horrible in the back, uh, like it was blown. It's funny because a couple days before I had a pretty bassy song on, I thought, hey, you know, it sounds pretty good, this, this stock system, you know, and really wasn't planning to do anything with it, at least right away. I uh, normally do upgrade all my sound systems in my vehicles. Well, anyway, so um, I followed some videos, you know, just to take a look at getting the panels off and, uh, and and the speakers that I bought. Let me turn the speaker or camera around. So the speakers that I got were an exact fit. I got them off Crutchfield, and it's the power base. And there was a video that uh, somebody had done that, you know, there was a pretty noticeable difference according to them and so i thought well it's uh, supposed to be an exact fit and all that so let's let's go this route uh so the interesting thing uh i actually ran into a couple of things of course there's a harness that comes with it um it's funny on the video it talked about what size uh everything was and uh so with the door with the door panel you know up um, I won't cover like how to get that off, but the one thing was, um, for some reason in my mind, I, I thought I had to take this cover plate out after I took that screw out, and I actually think I, I might have, I don't know, I think I might have damaged, you know, the way these things are mounted in there. I mean, there's some clippy things, but then it kind of felt like something kind of broke, and as I pushed it back in, I, I realized I didn't actually have to take that off. Uh, but anyway, so you do have to pop the little panel, you know, out of there with a little flathead head screwdriver. The screws are actually all in the door panel. There's, um, these are T25 torque. There's two, there's two on the bottom of the panel. You got to take that cover plate out of there behind the latch and that's another T25 screw. Take that out and basically you just have to take this cover off and there's two... There's two uh, T25 screws in there. And then you really have to give this thing a giant tug, kind of holding the door. I mean, you gotta pull it hard, but it it obviously comes out like any door panel with these big white clips. In the video I had watched, they had talked about uh, Philip had screws in there, but you know, they were all torques. They showed taking this out, popping it out, it kind of popped it out of the, um, this is the hatch release. I popped it out of its little mount here. And I think, I mean, it doesn't disconnect all the way. It's still in there. So but it gives you, I guess, a little bit of play in the door away from uh, the frame. I didn't pop this electrical down here. I think they did. But, I mean, actually, the door panel, I can swing it over here. And, you know, I have plenty of uh, working room. Uh, oh, well, the only other ones I pulled off were these two. These two uh, right up in here. These electrical guys. So then on the speaker, you can see how I've already connected the wiring harness here, but before this, this speaker here, coming through this little rubber guy, mounted right on top, like on the old speaker, it's got the connector, it was right on top, so it's outside of the mount. Now, with this harness, you know, they want you to use these screws, I mean, unless you wanna Actually, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, wait a minute. They have the connector on top. I should be able to use my connector. <laughs> I just kind of realized that. So I'll try that. I actually probably don't need to use this harness they sent. I just figured I had to. All right. Um, the only other thing was the screws that are uh, holding the, uh, the three screws holding the speaker in down there are actually uh, seven millimeter uh, heads. 7 millimeter. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go check this uh, harness out. Um, what I was going to do if I had to use the harness and these uh, speakers is I was going to cut a little hole in the rubber and shove these down in so they come out the, you know, behind the speaker because otherwise you know, they would be trying to go between the speaker and the door and they don't want that. Uh, actually, looking at it, I don't think I'm going to need to use this harness. So uh, I'll go do that and I'll probably just button it back up. Okay, yeah, that plug actually fit in so for the power base speakers uh, 
the plug actually fit. It was kind of tough to get it in there. I had to use a little flathead to kind of depress the uh, little tab in the middle so that it would go down all the way, but it worked. Here's another view of the uh, comparison of the speakers. This is the stock speaker. Of course, it's got a small magnet compared to the larger one that comes with this power base. Quality of construction. Uh, this is much lighter for sure. They say this is kind of the old style paper cone, um, but you know, kind of typical. Although you would have thought with a B and O system, it might have a little higher quality uh, speaker component, but really not the case. What I'm doing the other side, and I decided to go ahead and take the door panel off because it's easier to work with it off. But it, when I went to pull this out, uh, you know, actually this little clip came out which maybe that's what's supposed to happen of course it's got a little spring clip here and another one on the door panel that holds that on but I went ahead and pulled the rest of these connectors off and like I say uh, this should go much much quicker the other one sounded good already I could tell uh, there was an improvement you know I got I got the speaker out so this this was the one I thought was blown and sure enough sure enough if you listen listen to this if you push this cone down Got a, got a helicopter going by, but uh, you can hear it making this sound, of course, over here. Push the uh, the other side, which, you know, I didn't notice a problem with that, but it's, it's nice and quiet. But hear that? It's like... <laughs> anyway, so uh, that one was definitely a problem. Well, I have to say, uh, it definitely made it a lot quicker and easier to pull that door panel off and not have it in a way, you know, I have two hands down there easily working on uh, the speaker, of course, that's really the easy part anyway. The whole thing is really easy. Uh, but, uh, yep, that's what the inside of uh, this door looks like. I didn't use any, you know, of the dampening material. I mean, it's, it's already got this stuff that came stock. I'll just live with that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you know, it's going so quick. I think I'll, I didn't think I was going to have time today to do all four doors, but um, now I got it down. I'm just going to get all four replaced. I bought the other two for the front as well, so. Uh, you know, the other thing about the wiring harnesses, you know, these actually came with the power base, so it looks like, you know, Crutchfield, uh, you know, how they determine, and they throw these in for free, but they determine, oh, you'll need this. But it's actually, uh, just so you know, I mean, if you buy the power base, uh, these come with it. But actually, as it turns out, you don't need any harness. I mean, it just it's a plug and play with the Ford setup, so that's good to know. So I'm taking the front door apart. Uh, the only thing that's different is, uh, of course, you you take this uh, you take this part off that has the tweeter, and you just give that a big yank. It's just got these uh, got a clip there and a kind of a pivot pivot guy there. Looks like right there. Uh, unhook it. Basically the same drill. This piece for the uh, middle of the door, of course, is a little bit longer, but it all comes off as one piece, and there's still just the two T25 torque screws here. You got the one there after you take the little plate off under the latch. You see the little torque in there, and then you just have the two at the bottom. T25 torques all around. So uh, let's make short work of this. Oh, I, I didn't actually order the tweeters but seeing how easy they are to replace, I'll, uh, I'll do that at a future date. Might as well. Well, I had my first casualty. You'll want to unhook this illumination light before you try to pull this electrical connection out because it has this little panel clip. So as I was kind of trying to force that out, uh, this come flying out and snapped the little rest of it. So I'll have to order a new little light piece here. Uh, wasn't expecting that to happen. Actually, doing the last door. Uh, one note about the uh, this sail panel for the, for the tweeter. On the other side, when I pulled it off, I didn't realize because the first time I'd done it. But this uh, this white bracket right here was stuck in there, and you know it it kind of slides up in there. Well, anyway, you can imagine uh, if you didn't know. I thought that was just in there and this somehow was supposed to slide over it but then there was no way to get these two latches anyway so I uh, kind of figured out oh whoops you gotta, you gotta pull that out so if it does get stuck in there when you pull it off 
you gotta pull that out and remount it on this and then then it's just three three clips you push in and it's real easy just another watch out you know uh, for someone that doesn't do this every day you run into little things like that that can throw you off just a little bit there's that light part it's just that little strip of like a, almost like a fiber but getting that electrical connection off uh this was a little challenging there's a little hole there where the electrical you know connector tab goes and uh it seemed like you had to kind of depress that with a little screwdriver and then with a, like a plier or something, get a grip on that and pull it out. I ended up probably pulling out more with just the plier versus really getting much of a depress on there, but that was a little tricky. All right, well, we've got the uh, speakers all installed and aside from breaking that little light part, which I'll have to find a replacement now, uh, you know, overall it, it went really well. Everything seems to fit nicely. Uh, the front doors, there was just a little bit of a gap. It's almost as if the speakers are up against the door panel and, and I, I wasn't able to get that very corner under the speaker and the front doors to be as flush. I ran in the same thing on both sides. So anyway, uh, I was going to play uh, the music here, but it looks like, because I'm on Android Auto, it turn the music off here oh, it turned it off again I guess I'll have to uh, turn off Android Auto and just try a radio station okay looks like that's gonna work so you know as far as uh, the noticeable improvement because there's like a tweeter built into the power base speakers all four of them there's definitely a you know a higher end on the highs uh it's coming through and that's kind of what the uh, it, uh the video that i had watched they they were commenting about how it just really brightened up the sound uh it was a little dead before and i think that's i guess the way i would describe it as well so this is a radio station so it's not probably as clear as you know other means here but let's go ahead and turn it up oh looks like the song ended of course Vegas residency. I've seen a handful of shows in Vegas, and what's so cool about it is how they're intimate. This one hosted it at the. Uh, I gotta say, I mean, it, it's a very nice, bright sound, but there's a lot of bass and uh, just a kind of full rounded sound all in all here. Let's see, let's try just a different station, I guess. Quality of the reception is not the best here, but. So, of course, through a phone, you're not going to really be able to hear what I'm hearing as well, but the uh, the bass is there. I love bass. Uh, I can feel it all around me, uh, a little bit of the vibration in the door from it. And then just, uh, I can tell it's a brighter, richer sound, so I'm happy with it already, and uh, I think it's a good upgrade. Mm -hmm. 